All right, so I'm gonna be doing a sync upgrade and also updating the software. This is for my uh, 2015 uh, F350 Platinum. It currently has the original sync uh, two in it. So I'll be taking that out and uh, putting the new stuff in. I've uh, now received everything I need. So I've got the new screen as well as the, uh, the module. Both of these are from a 2017 uh, Escape. Um, I've got the new USB with uh, the new bezel and I've also got the power converter. This is the only part, the uh, the wiring harness, the new wiring harness. That's it's, I had to get that from eBay, it's not from Ford. Everything else is uh, an original Ford part. So I've got the new antenna. I've got the new splitter for the uh, for the antenna. Um, and that's all you need. So I'll go ahead and uh, start tearing it all apart. So first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'll remove the grab handle, the visor, and drop the headliner a bit, just so I can get to the uh, antenna. I think that's probably gonna be one of the more time consuming parts of this whole upgrade. So I'll get that done first and then I'll go into removing the screen and everything else in the center. Okay, so I've got the visor dropped, the grab handle removed. The grab handle is a uh, seven mil socket and the visor screws are T20 Torx. So I'll go ahead and uh, peel back the headliner now. So as you just gently peel it back, you don't wanna pull too much, you don't wanna crease it, but you gently peel it back and then you see there's the, uh, the antenna connection. The antenna looks like it's a 10 mil bolt holding it down and then it's just connected on that uh, yellow connector there. So I'll go ahead and uh, undo that and get that antenna out of there. Okay, so I went ahead and I got the bolt out. Seems like a really long bolt just to hold an antenna down. So, and then I, I unplugged the wire. So now I can go ahead and pull the antenna out. Okay, antenna's out. So here's the comparison of the two antennas. This is the old one that came out of the truck. It's got a short wire and here's the new one. It actually comes, it comes with a new bolt for whatever reason. And, and the wire is a bit longer. So we'll just tuck the wire in there somewhere because we don't need a, such a long wire. And um, I guess we can just new, use the new bolt since it comes with it anyway. So we'll go ahead and uh, and get that antenna up in the hole. So here's the new antenna installed. And there's the long wire. So we'll just go ahead and plug that in and then we'll tuck that wire in there somewhere and put the new bolt in. Okay, so the new antenna is in bolted down, wires plugged in, so I can go ahead and uh, put the headliner back now. Okay, so the, the headliner is back in place, the visor is back in, grab handle is back on, so now we'll go ahead and start working in the center here. I've removed these two already. If you don't know, there is a, a screw on each side that holds the, uh, the bezel in. I believe it, those are seven mil screws. So you just uh, pull those screws out and then the whole bezel comes off. Okay, so I've got the bezel loose. I just need to unplug all the wiring connections in the back here. Okay, so this is everything taken apart. I've removed the brackets off the, uh, the old SYNC 2 module and I've bolted them onto the, the new screen in the module. Just saw that the screen has a little scratch on it, so I'm not too happy about that. Um, but anyways, so now we can go ahead and uh, put the new screen in there. So all you have is just the one connector and then you have a USB connector. Um, and I also need to find 
where the uh, the GPS connector is because there needs to be I need to put the splitter in for that okay so to get the splitter connected you need to pull this the CD module out and you disconnect the um, the factory GPS connector here and you take your module the splitter module and you connect one end to the factory and the blue end goes to your new module in the back and the, uh, the other the second yellow goes to where the, uh, the old factory connection was okay so the CD modules back in I've got the splitter in the blue ends out so now we can also go ahead and get the USB module replaced so I've already pulled the uh, the faceplate off and there are four tabs that hold the old one in so you just press those four tabs in and this whole thing pulls out so you just disconnect the harness on the back and plug the new one in okay so I've got the old one out okay get ready to put the new one in so I've got my uh, the adapter harness plugged in the back and this end just plugs into the factory harness there and then the USB plugs into the back of this one right there and just like that we've got the new USB installed all plugged in and we'll go ahead and put the new screen in now okay so all the connections are made the new splitter for the GPS is hooked up USB is hooked up and the harness is hooked up the USB there are two plugs on the back of this there's a gray and a black I plugged it into the black because I'm assuming that's where it should go so we'll go ahead and uh, put that back in place now and we'll turn it on and let's see what happens I've got all the other stuff unplugged so I'm probably gonna end up with a bunch of codes but let's see if this thing fires up so good now it still needs to be programmed so it might not work well it's doing something okay so at least it works so now we'll go ahead we'll put everything back together and so this is version 2.2 so we'll go ahead and uh, put it all back together and then we'll plug in my laptop and uh, get it programmed one interesting thing I noticed is that my VIN number shows up right away without programming or doing anything it, uh, it just showed up so that's interesting all right so I've got uh, four scan fired up here it's just uh, connecting to the truck probably gonna find a whole bunch of error codes and then we'll go ahead and uh, program it okay so I went and sent ahead and cleared all the uh, error codes oh, guys honking for some reason all right so we'll go ahead and um, go to module configuration as built format and we'll start that up And this is how it's programmed. And I will go ahead and put all the values in for my truck. Um, someone posted a uh, screenshot of their 2016 um, F350 Platinum. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy those, all those values and um, 
because I'm assuming we'll have the same uh, the same options on the trucks. In from the other members post and I'll go ahead and rate them all. Alright, so now it's restarting and we will see if the climate starts working. off now so that's good let's try to put it on auto yep the climate's on steering wheel heat I don't know if it's supposed to do something there turn red or not so that may or may not work what about the seats let's try AC seats seems to happen with the seats either so I may have something wrong with the configuration because the, the steering wheel heats and the seats don't seem to work okay so while I'm looking for a solution for the uh, the heated steering wheel and seats codes I'll go ahead and update it maybe the update will solve my problems because right now this is uh, version 2.2 I believe and I've uh, made a USB for the update for the latest 3.4 so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and uh, we'll see what happens here this is a USB 3.0 so it should be fairly quick I hope anyway Apparently it's supposed to start updating after you put the USB in, but nothing seems to be happening. I don't know if it's my USB not working. Oh. Now it's saying it's restarting. Alright, so looks like it's updating. We'll see what happens after it's done. Alright, so after 34 minutes, it says update successful. We'll go ahead and remove the USB and um, we'll see what happens. So the screen's restarting now. Looks like we've got the new software on. We'll do the Wi-Fi later. Yep, we've got 3.4. All right, so this is all done now. Um, I figured out the solution for my seats and my steering wheel not working. Actually, it was that I had to have the truck running for it to actually work. So 
I didn't have to change anything in the uh, in the programming. The seats work just fine. The steering wheel works. So it's all it all works fine. And the climate works. And then an audio a serious. And if you see some people were concerned about the um, the logos are for Sirius not loading, but they seem to load just fine. And um, navigation works, yeah. and it has all the new maps. So that should be it. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.